Hello, welcome back for another ReZero Episode 2, Season 2 review. Now, I don't think this review is going to be particularly that long. Honestly, I don't really see it going over 5 minutes, or I don't see it going that far over 5 minutes. But, nonetheless, I will say this. The episode as a whole, I thought was great. And once again, another good episode from ReZero. Just no another casual transition episode until we get into the main plot of the actual story. Now, before I get into the chronological order of what happened within the episode, before I watched the episode, I you know, had a stream and we were talking about the episode and a bunch of things within ReZero. And a lot of people were saying that they cut out a lot of things from the web novel. And I understand now, especially from my previous video, that the web novel and the light novel are basically kind of sort of two different things. But as a person who's only read the web novel and a bunch of other people that I talked to, we sort of compare the anime to the web novel and see what kind of content they cut out. And so, so from the conversation that we were having, they said that they cut out a lot of content and then that I would be furious with the things that they cut out. But in actuality, after watching this episode, I wasn't really angry. I was sort of surprised that they follow everything as suit. Up until, you know, of course, the end. But overall, I thought everything was good. I had no problem with the episode whatsoever in terms of the content within it. And of course, beside from the end ending, which I'll get to when I get there. But overall, I don't see why they said I should be angry or furious. I thought everything within the episode was just perfectly fine. Obviously, there were some things were, that were cut short. But however, I think the important dialogue that was needed was still there, at least from my recent memory. And as I said in my last video, well, technically, I don't know when this videos coming out but i think i have one previous before this one but but the one before that one i don't know i'm not making sense basically i said before that it's been a while since i've read arc 4 so i can't necessarily remember every single detail especially when it comes to the beginning of arc 4 so i'm not sure if there was actually any content that was unnecessarily cut for the episode but there's one thing i noticed and that is the lack of wilhelm because i do remember wilhelm being within the last few chapters or within the scene of them leaving the mansion but that's neither here nor there right now let me just get straight into the episode and talk about the events so as i said before that this is going to be a pretty short video and i don't really expect it to go long that's because a lot of the dialogue in it is kind of eh it was cool because for me as someone who has already read it it doesn't really do much for me because I'm just looking for certain scenes to be animated. But overall, the way that everything flowed, it was great. I thought the music was kind of kind of loud, but also kind of just unnecessary at certain points. And that's just a really subjective thing. But that's neither here nor there because I think that's too small of, of a problem for me to really even go in depth on. And it's so minor. But as of the content we got within the episode, we got to meet Fredrika. And, whew, and once again, I just almost spoiled something. I just had to hold myself back for a second. But we got to meet Fredrika. I mean, Fredrika was cool. We got to see the new maid that was originally at the Roswell household. We got to see Fredrika becoming a new maid. And that was great. And then we got to see your boy, best boy, Otto, at it again. He hasn't hit the GOAT legendary status yet, but he will get there soon. Just give it time. But it was great seeing Otto's interaction and his gags once again. Especially because in the last episode, he said about four words or two sentences. It wasn't really prevalent at all when it comes to the last episode. So I'm really glad we got a lot of auto this episode. As for the most important part, besides the ending, of course, it is the conversation that Subaru had with Beatrice. And this conversation was very interesting because it leaves a lot of mystery up in the air in terms of Beatrice's relationship with Roswell, Beatrice's relationship with the gospel because she freaked out when she saw the gospel and her relationship with also with Bethel Goose. That was something quite interesting. And even as a novel reader, I didn't even know that was there. Or I think I forgot. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't know. But we also got to think about her relationship with the sanctuary as well. So they're laying down the foundations for these mysteries and for these plot points. So I'm curious on what how the production is going to be done to actually solve those plot points. And I'm very curious upon that Bethel Goose one. Because I don't remember that plot point at all. So I'm very so I'm interested in seeing how that plays out. That's something out of the entire episode that really struck me and probably laid down the biggest impression. But after Subaru and Beatrice have their conversation, you can see that Beatrice kicks Subaru out and as she's doing so, she's getting very emotional. And as she stated previous in the conversation that she hasn't cried in a very long time, this lays down also more mystery and more foundation for what is to come later because as she was kicking Subaru out, she began to shed tears or at least get teary-eyed. So we see that 
she has some sort of attachment to the gospel and the sanctuary and the events that are about to unfold. After Subaru kicks out, he lands on Otto, of course. And then the him and Otto go to the main hall where Frederica and Amelia are, and also with the Rim sleeping. They pretty much have a conversation, and Frederica warns them about a person named Garfield. Warning them about Garfield, she pretty much tells them to be aware as they enter the sanctuary of him. So to skip a lot of stuff, because the rest of the things that happened within the episode from that point was just kind of eh. It wasn't really much to talk about. Petra gave Subaru the handkerchief, and that's not really anything. So to get on to the really important part that I want to talk about is the arrival at the sanctuary. As they were arriving to the sanctuary, Amelia's necklace began to glow. And so Subaru, I guess, he used the rationality of our world to think that it was a bomb. And so therefore, he grabbed the necklace and threw it out of the carriage. But as he's grabbed the necklace, a sudden flash of light happens and now he's just in the forest all alone. He turns around and he sees a girl with elf ears, assuming that she is a half elf much like Amelia or maybe a pure elf. He chased after her and then he finds himself at this giant structure. He enters the structure and then he meets the Witch of Greed, Echidona. So my problems, let me just start off with my problems. My problems with this is of course the order in which it happened because this did not happen in this order within the novel. I had speculated that Echidona wouldn't be revealed until the end of episode three, but it is with this because obviously the anime is following the source material of the light novel and as i was told that the light novel and the web novel vary differently by a great margin so apparently in the light novel they meet echidona first with that bit of information i don't necessarily see that big of a problem i don't necessarily like it per se but i don't see that big of a problem with it and i do like the bits of foreshadowing i won't say where but i will say that everyone who has read the novel that person that we had saw is not the person that we actually saw or is the person we're going to see it was interesting to see that bit of foreshadowing right there but otherwise i didn't see this episode as a bigger problem i don't see why the people were saying they cut a lot of stuff because i couldn't really notice anything so I seen no problem with this episode. I thought the episode was pretty good. No standard good ReZero episode. It always had good quality. But I think that's it for the review. I doubt this is like over. Actually, this probably is over five minutes. I don't know. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Tell me you guys thoughts on the episode. How you felt about it. Whether you be anime only or a novel reader. Tell me how you think the adaptation is going. Tell me how you just think the episode was done in general. I hope you all have enjoyed this review. There should be a ReZero discussion going on later on the channel. Later on today, hopefully. Well, most likely it's going to happen. I don't know when. I plan on doing it probably 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 12 hours. I don't know. Sometime after this video has been uploaded. But it won't be too long after it. But we're just going to do a live stream discussion about the episode. If you want to hear that, come stop by and give your thoughts. But that's all I have to say. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.